the United States of America. We understand why America is so loved. The United States of America is the most powerful country in the world. But with great power comes great responsibility. For many, America has been really, really good. America allows us to aim high, reach for the stars, achieve and believe. America allows us to dream, set goals, and to go get it. America is in crisis. I repeat, America is in crisis. Leaders are lost, voiceless or screaming. Many churches are not believing and many atheists are believing and saying, I told you so. Americans that are disenchanted love America also. Voices of disenchantment are committed to the greatness in America, not the lateness in America. We should be concerned about today's America. We have very good reasons to be suspicious and concerned. Many don't, won't, or will refuse to understand. But to be honest, America hasn't been good lately. Well, then again, America has never been perfect. Many will not agree or understand, and I understand that. But don't confuse my understanding as an acceptance of grandstanding. In America, we're taught to aim high, reach, and believe. In today's America, many are the target that's being aimed at. As many reach high, others are often getting lowballed. But we will not give in because of our ancestors. As we reach for our goals, many times the goalposts are constantly moving or being set up. But we will not give in because of our ancestors. America allows us to dream of freedom and to believe in the American dream. But some American dreams is a vision of some to only fetch and retrieve. The dreams of some don't seem to matter because of all the TV chatter. But we will not give in because of our ancestors. In America, we're taught to dream, reach for the stars, and create a golden path. We're taught to set goals and move in search of your destiny, life, liberty, and justice for all. In America, as others reach for the stars, it seems the dreams of many, the dreams of children, the dreams and the golden pathways are being pushed away to darkened corners of hate. But we will not give in because of our ancestors. Hate has always inspired Americans to dream of the destination without regard to the journey. But we will not give in because of our ancestors. The highways of hate, bigotry, and racism will always lead to a journey of dead ends. But America's success is everywhere beyond the darkened corners. America's success is stretching way up north, down to the dirty south, from the east coast to the shores of the west coast, and all the small pockets within. The winding roads that stretch boundlessly across this great land and beyond the traffic jams of discontent is the answer. Hate has inspired churches to attack religions and religions to attack churches. But both has inspired America to come together for the common good of everyone. We will not give in because of our ancestors. Hate has inspired Americans to look away as corruption attacks voices of dissent in an attempt to get away. Other voices and leaders must step up and go the distance of a split decision. We will not give in because of our ancestors. Hate has inspired the wealthiest to pay poverty wages, but the poorest in America refuse to quit. Working second and third jobs, working 70 and 80 hours a week, we will not give in because of our ancestors. Hate has inspired insurance independency and drug dependency only to deliver disaster, disappointment, denial, and bankruptcy to the American families. But we will not give in because of our ancestors. 
We were promised a healthy diet, but was delivered expensive medication, addictive painkillers, and forgetfulness. The war on drugs is really a war on colors until the drugs hit the wrong color. Now the cure speaks in words of a rainbow. We just hope this rainbow has a better promise. We will not give in because of our ancestors. We better wake up and inspire America because we know hate will. Who will you inspire? Will you stay quiet, look away, shut up, shut down, speak up or speak out? Will you do something? We will not give in because of our ancestors. Which one will you choose? If you allow hate to inspire, darkness will win. But if you are inspired to admit, reject, rebuke, and confront, we all win. We will not give in because of our ancestors. God bless you today. And I'll talk to you later.